Hi, I'm, I'm Philip. Hi, I'm Pat. Hi, I'm Wesley. Hey everyone, welcome to a very, very, very special episode of Wong Fu Weekends. Super special! It's our birthday. 10 years. <laughs> We're 10 years old. Wong Fu Productions has been around for an entire decade. We were making videos before YouTube even existed. When we first started making videos, we had to buy a server and bandwidth so that people can download the videos from a link that we had to, pa we had to pass around a link, physical link just going around on like instant messenger and forums and stuff. And that's how the first few videos got around. They were just like, you know, little skits that we made. And The first video was actually uh, something we don't do anymore. Uh, it was a lip sync video and Ted and I actually weren't even involved with it. They're always very clear to make sure to say that, but I can, I guess I can see why, but... No, we didn't know each other back then. That's true. It was a, it was a lip sync video that I did with my sweet mates, and we did like a couple just for fun, but we ended up meeting in class um, later on in college, and we just started doing school projects together, and um, became good friends, and then we graduated, and then we moved out to LA. I still can't believe that Wong Fu Productions could be a, a 10-year-old kid just running around now. <laughs> a little troublemaker. I know, you can actually talk to Wong Fu Productions. Hey, how are you? Hey, I was, I was born when your first video came. <laughs> Back then, like, you know, we keep saying, like, there was no such thing as being professionals on YouTube. There was, there was none of that. We were just, we knew we had a fan base that was growing, and we knew we wanted to keep making stuff, but we were just coming in here blind. Yeah, online media was just emerging. Most people, when they graduate, they, they move home or they go to some internship or some job that they have set up. Uh, we didn't do either of those. <laughs> Phil said, let's go to LA. And I was like, I don't know LA, sure. Let's try it out. <laughs> the thing is, I didn't know LA either. Well, the reason why we picked LA was because the last year of our college year, we were traveling up to LA a lot from San Diego. We were doing a lot of shoots here. So we just decided LA is the place to be. So now we're here. Utah. Oh my God! Are you okay? I'm so sorry. Oh, what are you, you doing? What? I said I saw Utah. You, are you, are oh, you okay? Just stop. Oh I'm my. So this is where we first moved to after we uh, graduated, um, and we moved to LA for the very first time. Uh, our friend's mom was like a real estate agent, and we had no idea where to move to in LA. And she's like, "Oh, move to Alhambra." <laughs> well, this was home for what? Three years? Two years? Two years? A lot of stuff happened in this house. Like the most. The formative years of like the official Wong Fu productions, like yeah. I think when we were moving here, we, like we weren't even really totally taking Wong Fu totally full time. We were still doing weddings and stuff for like TVs uh, and commercials, club promo events. Yeah. A lot of people think we lived together uh, in un at university, but we actually didn't. We lived separately. This was the first time we we lived together and really got to know each other's living habits. Some people have roommates and then they go to work and then they have the people they work with. Yeah and then they leave work and they have their friends. We were just 24 seven, always together. And um, live, work, play, uh, eat, sleep, everything. Like it was all just the, the three of us. And we didn't really actually get out that much because we were just so focused on working and trying to uh, keep Wang Fu going. I've never really had roommates before these guys. Um, so it was really interesting living with two guys who are your friends that you saw every day in college but now every time you wake up you see them I, now I can see Phil wearing like basketball shorts and in the, in the kitchen just making cereal I think that was an odd sight or boxers <laughs> well we were lucky we each had a room at least we had a room Ted had the biggest room I had the smallest this, this is my room right there that window and that's the bathroom window you had this you had the smallest because you didn't want you wanted to pay the least amount of rent well, was that yeah. true? <laughs> I think actually we, we handled it pretty well. Like the fact that we didn't kill each other those first few years, that's pretty good considering how much time we spent together. Ted is not working. Ted is not working. Ted is not working. What are you doing? Um, making a tuna salad or a tuna on my sandwich. <laughs> What's this for? <laughs> Ted is not working. Menu not working. Ted is not working. Menu. Some roommates just just being roommates don't like each other, but we did everything together. No one cleaned the kitchen. Whoa. You know spaces. No one ever cleans the kitchen. No, no, it's because there's nothing to clean since we were never even down there. 
Oh, sorry, Phil. I was reading. Reading. What are you reading? Puppy and friends. They're eating. Tech gets really weird on video vlogs. <laughs> it was the beginning of the Nice Guy store. Um, or this, the Nice Guy brand or Wong Fu merchandise because we were doing all these commercial work or TV jobs and weddings and it was just not enjoyable for us but you know we, we needed the money basically but um, that's why we had one idea to start selling merchandise. Yeah, the first Wong Fu store website was built in that room <laughs> right there and uh, we we bought areyounaniceguy.com in the hallway of this apartment I remember and was sitting on the ground. <laughs> Nice I remember thinking like, I can't believe no one's taking that. Yes, we're yeah. original. Wes was designing the shirts like in his room and then we were designing the website and then downstairs was our warehouse. We packaged every single thing ever shipped out in the first three years of Wampu Production, I think. You couldn't walk through it. It was cardboard boxes and shipping materials. Every time when a huge order comes through, I would grab these guys and we would go to the kitchen we, we would wrap a moment with you DVDs, our first DVD, and that that was kind of how we spent a lot of our nights. There was an assembly line. Yeah, okay. there really was. We 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 bonded over folding T-shirts. I remember like the first 50 orders. Uh, I I was like, no, I want to I want to personalize it. So I drew like a picture on every package. And that stopped. That's what we had to do to keep Wang Fu going. You know, we we sold these shirts and these mini Spencers, and uh, it allowed Wong Fu to keep making things. It's all thanks to you guys. Yeah. So if you bought a shirt from like back in the day, thank you. Even now, we have food because of you. I always thought it was just crazy that we somehow convinced each other to all do this very crazy thing. I'm like, how did we all agree that this was a good idea? Oh well, let's just go with it. Everyone else thought the other person like <laughs> was like they got it under control. For the first, you know, few months, wanting to every night say goodnight to each other. What? I <laughs> didn't know that. Wait, but you, did you do that? We did. We no, we said goodnight. I said goodnight to you guys. And oh, the funny thing is, we were living together. We were like five steps away, but we're still talking to each other on AIM. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. An email. Goodnight, guys. Did we do that? I said goodnight to you guys for sure. Didn't hear it. <laughs> Night, you know, sometimes they, sometimes they said goodnight back. Sometimes it was I, just... I don't remember saying goodnight. It was a recording. <laughs> Dinner time. Do you want to go to QT? Okay. You do? Mm, do you want to? So, after much deliberation, KT Cafe. Another Friday night, just the three of us, boys, yeah! One of our friends at the time brought us to this cafe, one of the first restaurants in the area that we ate at, and we just fell in love with it because it was cheap. You got free drinks because it just opened, and I mean they're open till four yeah. in the morning. Um, so we, so our, our eating habits and schedules is really bad because we're spoiled by this kind of like, oh well, we'll eat dinner at eleven. We uh, we spent a lot of time in this uh, restaurant like late at night, like brainstorming ideas and like talking about work and not always work. We come here to uh, try to do work, but usually we just end up talking about girls. There was a waitress that worked there and then Betty. <laughs> and she was she was very she was nice and yes she was she was a pretty girl. We would probably talk about man where do you think we're gonna end up in like eight to ten years? Betty stopped working there. And you know why? because she didn't like me and we scared her away. This was like 2006 to 2009, we came here a lot. Yeah. I think we came here like three to four times a week. It was here. <laughs> oh, it's just here. It was here and uh, Chipotle, actually. I think we're spending too much time together. No, don't even go there. In 2008, we spent like the first couple months trying to write a movie, like a full-length movie, like probably in that booth right there. What is that? That looks like that looks like vomit on rice. Sometimes I get this. Usually it comes with a a raw egg on top, but I opted out for that because that it's been a while since I've been here. Maybe my stomach has I'm, adjusted to that. Now Ted only now Ted only eats four or five star restaurants. You know this is this is a this is a walk back into no. the, into time. When you used to get this, it came in a metal bowl. It looked like dog food. <laughs> it did, yeah. Remember? Yeah, yeah. 
I'm very excited for this. Though. I'm actually very excited for this. I used to get this all the time. Alright, we're about to start a vlog right now, and Phil isn't here yet. Wait! So be... Wait! Guys, should not start. Oh! Ah! Happy New Year. Uh, 2009 is definitely on the way. Sorry it's been so long since we've uh, said hello. Man, what was life like during this era of Wang Fu? What was it like? Those are the transition years in Palmetto. This is like the growing years. I think, I think we had a little bit more structure. YouTube was growing and we were kind of understanding that, oh, okay, there's, there's, uh, there might be some future in this if we keep it going the right way. And we were meeting other people that were making videos online, so I think it felt better meeting others that were kind of going through the same thing you were going through. Move, move over. Okay, let me, let me teach Phil real quick, okay? He needs the most help. Realizing, hey, we're not alone in this. I think at, you know, the old place, we, we, we thought all we had was just us three, and it was nice to open up to more people. You smile, you smile, you put on a, a nice smile so they know you're happy. Nice, nice smile. When you're happy, they're happy. Okay, right, right, right. I'm here, I was just meditating. Hi, David. Hey, Ted. I remember personally it felt better because um, there was a daily routine. I remember we would wake up, do whatever business, and then around lunch, I'd walk down there and get like a Vietnamese sandwich and like a milk tea, walk back, eat it out here. That was my lunch break, go back in and, and shoot something. It, it felt pretty good to know that that's how things worked. Aqua animals started in this house. Oh yeah. I remember there were a lot nights where I was just making buttons for like two hours. Yep. We turned the kitchen into a warehouse, yes. but then Ted uh, actually got us a real warehouse. My room was actually massive. <laughs> I had a whole upper floor. Yeah. Um, was with me and Pepper. Um, so the room itself was really big, and then the closet was like a walk-in closet. So I decided one day switch it up. I'll put my bed in the walk-in closet so I can have my um, entire room. My entire room, like an office, like a TV place. And we went in there one day, and we were like, we were playing some video games, and we realized, wait, where's your bed? All right, fun facts, real quick about this place. Um, we met Chris while we were living here. So the first project we did with him was up in the club right there. The entire Fun Employed series was shot here. So inside the house, on the driveway, on this walkway, um, Fun Employed was all here. Yep. Um, Wong Fu Weekend started here. Um, that's, uh, we were like, man, we need to make more videos, but we don't have enough time to do stuff. We should just start vlogs. Start Wong Fu Weekends here. As you know, uh, we're moving into a, an office. So we gotta get rid of a lot of stuff from our house. All right, we're done packing up the cars for now. Where are we headed to? The new office. office. Welcome back to the first official Wong Fu office. I remember opening these doors the first time. Are you serious? It was one of our locks in the world. Like, you don't deserve to keep it anymore. I was just very proud that we had gone from, you know, that first townhouse and then, you know, fast forward a few years and we have yeah. an office. This seat feels very familiar to me. I just <laughs> like this. Looks like Wes Chan's the best man. A lot of YouTube friends came to visit us here because we were very proud of our office. This is the best day ever! Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Woo! Enjoy! Enjoy! It's our toy! He's not letting me play with it! It's our toy! Keep it! What do you think has been the biggest change in the last 10 years? Everybody's gonna say my hair. <laughs> Just Ted's hair. Ted's so old now. I think the thing that's changed the most has actually been YouTube itself. From when we first started not even existing, to like, you know, this, this uh, hub for these uh, independent people in their bedrooms, to now like these big companies and businesses, you know, it's, it's, it's so different. And even us, we're just trying to keep, you know, our heads above the water and keep up. I remember actually being, uh, we were graduating and we were at like a TAPEX at UCSD. And I was just telling Wes, I'm like, man, if we could just, if we could just make videos and make money off that and just, but just keep making whatever videos we wanted, that would be the dream, that'd be the best. And I guess it's sort of happened and sometimes I just have to step back and realize, oh, we actually kind of accomplished that and, and that's pretty amazing. We never had this plan out. We never had a five-year plan. We never had a 10-year plan because everything changes so quickly. Um, this has been a wild ride. Nowadays, they start YouTube like, or, or they start a channel thinking that they, like, they have a goal in mind, but we, we never were like, all right, guys, today we're gonna be Wong Fu Productions and this is what we're gonna be. Like, 
we just we just happen it happens so naturally and gradually and well it's a lot it's 10 years worth of hard work <laughs> every single day yeah. every hour a little bit of luck a little bit a of little luck. bit of luck and you guys it just started out as fun you know three college kids making videos and um, to think that it could be something that lasted 10 years is it just blows my mind and I hope it can last another 10 or more it's been a, it's been a good 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 10 years we couldn't have done it without you guys. Yeah. I, I know that sounds very cheesy, um, but for us to have made the steps that we've made, it's all because of the support we've had. Whether you found out about us last month or since that first lip sync video and you've stuck with us, it just it means so much. And it's, it's amazing to think that we've created so much work and, and you know, reached so many people. And This is not the end. We're working even harder these days to get you guys more high quality videos, doing bigger stuff. We're really grateful that you guys are sticking with us as we grow, and um, I think there's going to be a lot of good things to come. But, um, anyways, we could just keep going on and on about how lucky and fortunate we are, um, but uh, we'll end it now. And uh, with one more thank you for the last 10 years, you've changed our lives immensely, and um, man, I, I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. Thank you, guys. Thank you.